I am Palak Agarwal of Hidayatullah Pula National Law University and currently a legal intern at Lexis and Company. I hope you guys are fine. In today's video, I'll be discussing about promissory estoppel. What, in your opinion, is promissory estoppel? Concept of promissory estoppel becomes relevant only in cases of unilateral promises. It prevents a person from going back from a promise he has made when other party has already acted believing his promise or relied on his detriment in any agreement there needs to be an offer and acceptance and a consideration however in the case of promissory estoppel it is a gratuitous promise a unilateral promise there is no acceptance but reliance on the promise made by the person and there is no consideration at all nevertheless the promise is binding in law as the law does not want the other person who believed him in good faith to suffer a loss. For example, the state government, whoever sets up a factory in the newly identified SEZ zone, he would not have to pay the export surcharge for five years. And a person named Rohan set up a factory and started exporting cement for two years. After two years, the government was changed. The new government found this policy a bad one and cancelled it. This new government asked Rohan to pay surcharge at existing rate. In this case, Rohan can refuse to pay the amount using the doctrine of promissory estoppel. The next important question is whether someone can be allowed to revoke such a promise. If such a promise is made, there is no consideration. He gets nothing in return. If he gets nothing in return, then why shouldn't he able to revoke such a promise? He is not allowed to revoke as person believing his promise has chosen a course of action believed him and if he then cancels the promise it would be unfair to the person who believed his promise believing his promise would have to face negative consequences of believing in such false promises so it is held that if no one should make unilateral promises they do not have the intention to fulfill it but one can revoke such a promise if the other party who believed in that promise did not act or do anything Related to the promise. For example, a person named Jatin asked his servant Ramu to save his sons from kidnappers as Ramu was a brave man. Jatin said to Ramu, if he saves his son's life, he will double his monthly income. Ramu was in real need of money, so he risked his life and saved his son. Now, while Ramu was gone saving Jatin's son's life, Jatin thought that doubling his monthly income was too much. He sent a message to Ramu's phone saying that he wouldn't double his income. The question that arises is whether Jatin can do so, whether Jatin can revoke such a promise. What do you guys think? It would be unfair to Ramu. The answer is that from the time Ramu started preparation for savings Jatin's son, Jatin cannot revoke the promise. He is stopped by the promise. This is the concept of promissory estoppel. I hope you guys liked the video and found it informative. In my next video, I'll be discussing about remedies of a breach of a contract. Thank you.